And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Zed. That's going to be our first deck of the day. We're going to be playing through six decks, um, kind of all focused on the new patch that came out yesterday and a lot of cards that got buffed, uh, you know, playing decks with uh, different cards. And so a lot of new decks today. It's going to be exciting. Uh, but we're going six decks today because I'm going to have no stream tomorrow, taking a day off tomorrow. Um, so, you know, like they'll have... You know, we'll have six decks here, so you, if you're watching these on YouTube, you got three today, three tomorrow. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to try another version of Katarina. Of course, Katarina's gotten her buff with being able to create Fleeting Blades Edges in hand now. Um, but going aggressive with Noxus and Ionia. Um, the other card that I, that I really want to kind of focus on with this deck, and we're going to play another deck with this card later, is Kato the Arm. I think this card got a big buff now it's it's a 5-4 it used to be a 5-3 and it, at three toughness for five man it was just really hard to play the card but now it's survive now it's a lot easier for this card to survive not only like to get to combat but then um survive through combat maybe attack twice um but yeah so you know the support you can give your support ally plus three plus zero and overwhelm that seems awesome with zed but also that that's great with elusive creatures and stuff like kinku lifeblade you know like we know the, how good the, the combo is between Jewel Protector and Kinku Lifeblade. Well, what if you also could give Kinku Lifeblade plus three plus zero and Overwhelm and, you know, make it, um, you know, make it a five power um, elusive creature even more often. Sometimes with Jewel Protector, sometimes with Kato the Arm. And then Kato the Arm should just also just help us just finish out games, you know, given anything. Plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm, like Legion Grenadier, making this thing a six one Overwhelm. We can get a lot of damage in. With that, so we're gonna be trying to to um, kind of split like elusive threats and just cheap good threats and uh, kind of put them together, get a couple of good champions. Of course, Katarina works great with Kato the Arm. <clears throat> and actually, I don't even know if it's supposed to be Kato or Kato. I'm gonna say Kato. Um, but anyway, uh, if that's wrong, you know, feel free to let me know. Uh, but, you know, if you can get more, if you can play Katarina and Rally and get more attacks, the more attacks you get and the more you get to support, of course, the better. So let's see how this does. Katarina Z. That's will be our first deck today. Hey, same moi. Howdy, howdy. <clears throat> so we got... Katarina Draven with Freljord. It's interesting. So Katarina is a really good late game card. I actually don't think I wanted my opener. I want to shift Katarina into Twin Disciplines and start with this. You know, start real aggressive like this. I like this. We'll probably be able to draw into uh right uh we'll probably be able to draw into the um top end stuff all oh, right katarina draven with freljord that's probably swims yeti deck that's what we're gonna be playing later with the the yeti smash that's swims yeti deck and i guess that's what we're playing against now um Yeah, let's play both of these because House Spider makes the 1-1, one, one, and the 1-1 one, one just doesn't really attack through a 2-1 very well. <laughs> Instead of 2-1, sorry, a 1-2. One, 1-1 one, one doesn't attack through a 1-2 very well. Blade duo can be nice. The party is out. The Yordle here is with me. Let's do this. Look 
If it's better just to go straight to attacks instead of play the house spider the house spider pumps up the green glade duo too but then it gives them the opportunity to play something um let's see look at my yeti smash deck so they're probably about the same thing yeah because they have ice veil archer I see all Archer would definitely be a, a really big bummer. Let's just go straight to attacks. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Come to me. And that's yeah. So they have one in the top three of their deck, and they have just two more somewhere else in the deck. Give it to the Kato or the Saboteur. And then my turn next my plan next turn of course is to play the the five four saboteur the kato give you know probably give, give my green glade duo plus three plus zero and overwhelm but honestly maybe we just give it to like the saboteur or the house fighter i guess we could go no, I probably don't want to go Jewel Protector. Going six decks today because no stream tomorrow. We got a lot of good ones for today. If I just give it to the house spider, then if they want to block with this, they take three. to six. I give you muscles. All right, they take this point of damage too. Go down to five. Over there. This is gonna hurt for you. Okay, that makes sense too. It's a pretty good block. We get to keep the 5-5 five, five Overwhelm.
Good playing, good playing. Those, those five five overwhelms that you know, like what that last one cost three mana. Get out there, those yetis. Definitely would have felt good if my opponent didn't have lethal that round, you know, because we were gonna have the very large um, life linking attacker. We're gonna have five five life linking elusive attacker, so. I was going to feel good if they didn't kill me that round. Let's get rid of the House Spider. I don't expect it to really do very much in this matchup. And we kind of need to find a, you know, something for Yasuo. Where's my axe? I'll do better this Yeti time. Smash. That's Yep, that's the deck. Yeti Smash. I don't really want to play the Blade Scout right now because you know I wanted to have Elusive, but if I don't play it, the next turn I'm playing Shadow Assassin, the turn after that I'm playing Life Blade, turn after that I'm playing Kato. I'm just never gonna play this thing. I guess. Oh, what am I doing? I should have played Zed, sorry. I was thinking about like what they were gonna be doing. And just didn't really even realize I drew Zed. I definitely should have played Zed. I was gonna say I guess I'll I can play it, you know, after the Kato and and you know double spell with it plus something else and try to make sure to get the elusive damage in. But yeah, certainly should have played Zed. This isn't the best Jewel Protector matchup because they play all the Will of Ionias. The Yasuo is so good now. It's a 4 4. Planning on bouncing the the Yasuo whenever they, you know, in response to like a stun card or something. Never see me like that. Could have bounced it just on their turn, but then, you know, I play, you know, I would play like a, a five drop and they would replay this and, you know, like where really, like where are we really? That's a Yasuo Steel Tempest. Not a regular Steel Tempest. Basically, hope they don't have. Oops, 
better just to play Kato. And then go straight to attacks. Yeah, because we definitely have to go straight to attacks. Because we can't let them play Yone next turn. So Kato attacks for 8 next turn. Or these things attack for 4 and 2. Yeah, this is a tough game. That just made it a lot worse. The... The Yasuo deck when they have Yasuo is a whole lot better than when you don't have Yasuo, that's for sure. Oh, it's on. Wanna see these moves up close? Welcome to try. I don't mind drawing Deny. We're just passing. to let them pass. That can be beneficial. Big blade for the warrior. Underestimate. I dare you. So, how... Should have just passed back. Should not have played this last turn. Good options here. I can't play stuff pre combat. No, I'd love to, but you really can't against Yone and Swiftfoot and cards like that. Oh, I just messed this up, didn't I? They, they do have to chump block with, with, if they don't have any spells, they have to block with Yasuo, but I guess I need to, I need to, I should have overwhelmed this thing. With that, that could have been lethal if I would have overwhelmed this thing, but okay, they got spells, so. It doesn't matter.
possible I should be waiting a turn for that dual protector. You know, like waiting to see what we draw here and then use it. Everything's better with company. Says you. How are they just passing? Why would they just pass? They at least not play that. I have come for the unforgiven. Right. They want to do that. Because I'm at two. Face your fate. I need to let my opponent pass back a little bit more. Just untap. Probably two times there that game that they passed with all their mana, and then I played something and it cost me. I should have just untapped and then attacked. Good learning, though. You know, it's good. Good learning. Get rid of that. Garen. This. Green Glade Duo may not be very good against Garen. Garen probably means Flea Feather Tracker, which I would much rather have House Spider for, but I guess Flea Feather Tracker killing Green Glade Duo means it's not killing Zed. I'm keeping one of the two drops, I'm sending the other one away. Um, so keep the duo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe maybe that's just something to do when you're at two life. But, but even before, like I wasn't at two life. I. Um... Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. I could have passed, and I didn't. All right. So here, do I play Zed or do I play Duo plus Saboteur? If they have like Laurent Protege plus protection, you know, like playing Zed may not be, may not actually w be too good. Let's play. Let's play our elusive things. Okay. Well. Can I, can I have a league where I get more punished for everything that I do than this? <laughs> everything everything we do, we're just getting super punished for it. Without a sound. We are not a good deck against Avalanche, that's for sure. We are not good against Avalanche. This Weirding Stone seems like a lot better card. We're going to be playing this Weirding Stones later on in, in our War Mother's Ramp. Again, four, four toughness instead of three is just a big deal. So these cards like Kato, the Arm, and... Um, and Weirding Stones, they got that fourth point of toughness now. Definitely seem like they got a pretty good upgrade. Alright, Jewel Protector Katarina do not work well together whenever you bounce Katarina back to your hand, the buffs go away. Show them what we're made of. I don't know what you're made of.
I want to play Katarina here so that I can just untap and attack. If they just have another avalanche, I'm super dead. Let the blood shed begin. This just, you know, helps me, you know, like we get, get to get rid of this weirding stones, which is really nice. I mean, I don't, I don't really know how I'm supposed to. Well, that's a good attack. That doesn't scare me. That's a good attack. My pleasure. Keep it so my blade's edge doesn't just kill their weirding stones. I don't really know how we play around. Avalanche too well with where we have to pressure them because they're gonna win a late game. What do we do against this thing? Yeah, we can't catch any breaks here. What end am I just doing this? They they attack with these two the next turn. Like, what end? Hold back the darkness. Infinite life. So that's not great. This hasn't been great so far. Not a good start. Zed Hecarim Callisto. Let's 
keep Katarina this time. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy out here right now. I have my orders. If this deck doesn't do so well, that's okay. We got a lot of uh, cool decks to try out today. Until next turn for Katarina, so that we can make the Blade's Edge and be able to use the Blade's Edge. Ready. We'll be able to kill the Green Glade duo with the Blade's Edge. That's pretty nice. Uh, we didn't do too good with the Yasuo deck. It just we played a whole lot of close games, but they did not go my way. This deck yesterday, it, the deck felt just fine, but our opponents kind of had a whole lot of great stuff, and we're Hold winning up. that. Six dark water scourge. Yeah, the buff definitely did help him out, for sure. Yeah, the buff definitely helped out uh, Yasuo, but... You know, we didn't, we didn't like, draw Yasuo that much. And that's, of course, a, a big problem with that deck. And just everything overall just kind of didn't work out for us. Um, but, but yeah, I liked the deck. I thought it was pretty strong. got a, a great chance of killing them next turn as long as we don't die here or they gain a million life again I don't really need to play this 3-2 they can't block I'm just gonna hold on to the one mana to, to work towards twin disciplines the only reason to play this right now is that they have the three mana 0-3 they have a prankster. Oh, never mind, Callista. Never mind, that's a that's much worse for me. It's much worse for me. Oh, that brings in the six six and the shark again. I could have had you last turn as the one drop to play the can actually block.
This is me going down to one, them going to 16, me keeping Kato the arm barely. Like this instead, because that, you know, we kill the 6 6. Because the 6 6 takes the damage for Callista. Fan. Alright, that one was starting to look sketchy there for a little bit too. But I think that, that block and not let them gain six life and everything, I think that uh, that block won me that game. And then big Kato the arm, like, you know, those are some huge overwhelm creatures. Even just that one mana 3-2, that was a huge overwhelm creature. You know, whenever you start pumping it up, make it six. Okay, so we're on the board. There we go, we can win. We can win. So we got this. Get this, um... Get this last game and then go two and three. And that's not so bad. Oh, Yeti Smash. Right against this deck again. Raven, Katharina, right, Katharina Smash. Yeti Smash. Um, I mean, I love the Jewel Protector Life Blade combo. I guess we'll keep it. We really need to draw some cheaper stuff, because... Oh, no. Oh, that's not a good draw, either. Because Katarina's not real like... Katarina doesn't really help you progress your, your battlefield, right? Because you have to bounce Katarina back to your hand. So that's not really what I need in my 3-drop right now. So I'm keeping this really great late game, but we need some other cheaper stuff. I think Katarina's gotten more valuable with this, with this play trigger. You know, being able to play it, turn 4, kill something... I do think it's more valuable now. Because, yeah, next turn we'll either... We'll have Katarina plus the Blade's Edge or Will of Ionia, one of those two. And then we'll have Jewel Protector. Uh, and then Life Blade. Okay. They should have one Yeti in their top three, and then two more Yetis somewhere in their deck. It seems like whenever I play against this deck, though, they all, they, like, just from that, like, they'll have, like, two or three Yetis already in their hand. I just I never understand how they can have so many Yetis all the time. There should only be three total. They should have, they should definitely get one the next three draws, but the other two should just be somewhere in the deck. They're, seems like they're always on top. Um, bounce? 
That's pretty. That's a pretty aggressive bounce. I guess I should have done that one to Draven, shouldn't I? And then I could attack with the two one also. I'm sure you know what my plan is, is attack for five next turn, then play Katarina, attack for five again, try to win elusively. Katarina would be a lot better if, if whenever she were recalled she dropped a 1-1 one, one body. Yeah, she would be a lot better if she did that. Definitely. This is pretty risky, I suppose. You know, I have the Will of Ionia to, to protect. Like, you know, they use the Spinning Axe here. The problem is if they go Spinning Axe here, then I Will of Ionia this. And then if they have another Draven or a Whirling Death, then they have one of these kill my 5-5, kill my five five, and that's where the trouble is. So that's pretty risky. Otherwise, I'm taking a lot of damage. Either bounce the Ancient Yeti or bounce the Draven. Bounce the Ancient Yeti, I stay at 12. Bounce the Draven, I keep my Dual Protector. about the 3-1 that Frostbite's. Like, if I play Green Glade Duo, they play the 3-1 Frostbite my, my Life Blade. 
I guess I don't need to really be wor too worried about that now, because now I have the Green Glade duo plus the Saboteur. But I definitely didn't want to do that pre-combat, like the first combat, and not get that five points in. Let's just attack here. Let's not attack with, you know, even the Saboteur. Let's not attack with anything else, because I attack with Saboteur that could set up Whirling Death. All right. Played that one a lot better. There we go. We're warming up. We're warming up. All right. Two and three with our Katarina Zed deck. Um, surprised we, we never really did anything with Zed, you know, like we never, never did anything with Zed. I thought, thought, uh, Zed with Kato, the arm was going to be pretty cool though. Um, but yeah, you know, like we only drew Zed a couple of times and either like the, the three power on Zed wasn't quite enough. We faced a lot of four toughness creatures. Four toughness is, is the new thing. That's, um, but yeah, you know, we, Katarina was pretty decent. The blades edges were good. Um, and then of course Kinku Life Blade with Jewel Protector, Kato the Arm, very good. And and yeah, Kato looked Kato looked good. Kato looked good. We'll we'll play some more Kato uh, in the Yeti Smash deck later on. All right, but that's some Katarina Zed. Yeah, I definitely thought about playing less Katarina and some Draven in here. You know, playing like. One one Draven, two Katarina, two Draven, one Katarina. So yeah, you know, I went with all the Katarinas just to, to you know, so we tried out Katarina more, but I could definitely see playing some number of Dravens instead of some number of Katarinas. But, uh, but alright, there we go. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck. If uh, you know, think maybe play some Draven instead. If you give the deck a try yourself, let me know how it's going. Uh, I always like seeing those comments and like those updates and the, the feedback and everything on YouTube. But that's it here for Katarina Zed. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.